Back at y'all with a reaction video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Any videos y'all want me to react to, hit me up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, the Starters app at JVLewis77. And don't forget to hit the notification button to be alerted when I put out new videos. Now, what I'm, uh, I'm about to react to is this week's top 10 moments of Monday Night Raw. All right, we get more qualifiers for money in the bank. But let me start here. I am fully aware of that bullshit as Bobby Lashley, Sami Zayn's sister segment. Now, I was going back and forth between that and watching the Cavs Celtics game. So, I knew this was coming, but when I saw the, the sisters come out, I'm like, oh, here we go. I already not feeling the uh, Bobby Lashley segment anyway, the little interview, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get more into it after the video. So let's just concentrate on the top ten right now, and I get more into the Bobby Lashley, Sami Zayn thing afterwards. So let's check this out. The B team. By Axel. On Fandango. And they want to get it. You know, I put on Twitter that WWE management cannot say they don't have anything for people, man. They do it, man. These dudes are over. They doing something with these cats. Hey, look at that, man. Out of nowhere. You thought they was going to be in the background when Miz went to SmackDown. So I don't know if this is them doing this themselves, kind of like how the new day took some bad and made go. Ooh. I think the tweak of the knee slowed Bobby down, getting to the top rope, and Elias took over. And this could be Elias's opportunity. Ooh. Drives into the center of the ring for Drake away. Uh. Covering and the hooks the inside leg. Elias with the win. Okay, so Bobby will win next time they fight, but I'm liking a few though. The veteran experience of Ziggler could come into play. And there's oh, the veteran experience Ooh. Ziggler and then a super Damn. And he falls into the cover. Shoulders down on Gable and he got him. Hmm. With no help from Drew, huh? Clean win, huh? Ember Moon. What's up, Ember? Oh! Little Miss Bliss taking the L. Yo, Ember was putting in words and she got called up. And I like it. I like it. I'm really happy the truth came out. But that's okay. Because I am going to take your title. And your arm. Mm. It's over, but for the uh oh, That's oh shit! <laughs> man, self, man. So glad they gave him that back. So glad they gave. Hey, KO just got to be a couple of more moves ahead. Self can get that out of nowhere. Natalia steps through. Look at the sharp shot. Mm, tap, Sarah. Tap. Natalia's going to money in the pack. All right. What's up, Natalia? Natalia. With the woman bun. Oh, no. Not the helmet. Oh, no. Look at Lashley go. 
Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> what family reunions are like in the Lashley household. Yeah, get that bullshit out of here. That. Sammy Zayn told me before that Bobby Lashley's parents ran away from home. Trying to figure out exactly which word it was that Sammy Zayn said. I think it's garbage, coach. I think Ew. Bobby Lashley that. Yeah, that's going to be my one word for the new hour, garbage. And Bobby whoever Lashley wrote this, whoever yet. came up with this, is straight trash. Dude, who thought this was a good idea, man? Who thought that was a good idea? Oh, what's up, Jinder? For some payback. Damn, you going out to both of them. Bow. Yeah, that's what you really want. He won't roll me. Take that with you. Let me get that back. Man, I'm not finished with you. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, right. uh, damn. That's interesting. They're having a one on one match, man. This should be saved for a pay per view. Not surprised, but I don't think that hurt Finn either. I mean, you know, I don't think that hurt Finn that loss. All right, so we got Natty qualifying for money in the bank. Cool, Elias still rolling the BT rolling. Okay, the Bobby Lashley thing. I'm thinking they bringing this dude in to eventually go after Brock and they got him there and he just a stalemate you know he's teaming up with good guys and that's it and this is the first storyline you give him now I'm cool with him feuding with Sami Zayn I'm cool with that the match should be good but this you know introducing his sisters the interview I mean y'all can come up with nothing better I mean Man, Sammy and, and Bobby could do this on their own without all that other BS, man. Somebody need a swift kicking ass for that. So when they finally do have the match, nobody's going to be interested because it's been boring so far, you know? And it's like, dude, Bobby Lashley killed it in TNA. When this dude was champion, being a heel. First of all, let's get Bobby heel. Let's do that. Man, Bobby improved so much on the mic, man. For those of y'all that seen TNA when he was there, this dude was a good champion. Arrogant. Asshole. This dude had it. Put no good ass matches. What does WWE do? The complete opposite. Hell, they should have had him go to SmackDown. I guarantee you, Bobby Lashley would be a complete 360 if he was on SmackDown. So... That's what I got to say, man. And, man, Sammy, since he turned heel, he been good. And, you know, he's kind of separated from KO right now, man. Man, man, this Bible Lashley Sammy thing could be so much better. But WWE just fucking it up. So, y'all got to let me know what y'all think about that, man. Like I said, a lot of people saying this was like the worst segment since the what? Alexa Bliss, Bailey, This Is Your Life, or whatever it was. I remember that. That was pretty damn bad. But this takes the cake right here. So let me know what y'all think about this. So subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. JV Lewis. Y'all be safe out here. Catch y'all on the rebound. And I'll see y'all good people next video. Peace.